Hey guys, welcome back to Red Code. So in our previous video, we learned how to do how to do the debug. And today we are going to learn how to interact with frames and the different ways to handle the frames. It's going to be very simple and easy. If you compared with Selenium, the same concept mostly, but few advantage I can say here. Okay, so let's get into the demo so that you will understand it better. Okay, um, so. For the demonstration, I'm going to use this letcode.in slash frame as usual, but I'm using the Brave browser, which does not include any of the ads. So here, the number of frames is going to be like less. For example, if I go and search like double slash iframe, that means I'm finding the iframes, the XPath concept. So here you can see like we have nine and among those, the first one is our frame that we want to interact. And then we have another frame which is in the position of seventh. Okay. But if I open the same link in my Chrome browser, it's going to be really missed now because Chrome, of course, by default, it enables the ads. So here you can select one and here one and here one. So totally we have like three ads in a page. So if I go and inspect now, and if I go for like double slash iframe again. So here you can see the mess, it's going to be like more than uh, 15. So we have like around 19, sometimes it will go like 20 as well, okay. So in a real time application, in our office projects application, there won't be much uh, frames, but these are like dummy website and we have this ads, but in a real time project, there might not be this many frames. But there is also a situation where we can see lots of frame. I will tell you at the end of the video. Okay. Now coming back to the topic, I believe you already know what is frame. If you know any of the automation tool like Selenium, WebDriver, Protector, uh, Cypress, Cypress is different. Leave it. So if you know any of the automation, then definitely uh, you know about the frame. So I'm I'm not going to waste the time. Just in case if you don't know, I will just leave a link somewhere in the card or description you can just go and check it out okay so what we are going to do is we are going to enter the first name enter the last name and enter the email and for your information here the label is like last name but the placeholder is enter email and here also we have like enter email which is my mistake like uh, i think i have done some mistake while deploying this but yeah you got the idea right so we are just a dummy page and just we are going to enter some data okay now how to interact there are two ways to do the interaction and it's going to be really really simple and superb okay so first of all i have to find the frame so for that i'm going to use the function called frame and here you can select we have like different strategies to find the frame one is using the name so by default it it will take the name attribute and then we have like predicate pattern and url for the function frame by url which is overloaded function of course so i will give you the two demo one is the pattern and another one is the string url i don't know how to use the predicate in efficient way so i will just keep that and then we have this frames frames locator for example if i want to say like frames page dot frames this is going to return me number of frames available in my page for example i can just sys out and of course it's going to return the list so i can just use the size to get the number of frames so here I can select frames dot size and that's going to return me the number of frames available. And this code is very simple. You already know. So I'm not going to teach this again. The thread dot sleep is here. Reason is like I just want to show you the output of the execution. And after that, I'm just going to close or else if I don't add the thread dot sleeps, it will be very fast, which we don't want for now. Okay, so we got the output and once the browser is closed, we can see the console. We got like around 18. Previously, we saw like 19, but yeah, as, as I said, um, since the Google ads are loading, it might be different for most of the execution. Okay, so this is how we can find like how many number of frames available within the page. Okay, now I want to interact with this particular guys. So I have to find this guys. And quick tip, if you do right click here, you can see like we have this view page source. That means this is not inside your frame. If you go and right click here, you can see like two options, reload frame and view frame source. That means 
of course these elements are within the frame now i'm just going to right click and inspect my interactable element from there if i scroll up i can see like html so what is frame in the sense like basically a web page the starting tag is like your html tag within the html tag if we have like another html then that is embedded with the help of iframe so here you can see like this is the iframe now this iframe has few attribute for example src id and the name in my case id and name both are same but playwright always gives priority to the name so i'm just going to copy the name here and then i'm going to say like um, page dot frame and here i have to give my frame name okay and this is going to return, return me the frame frame reference so this is my interface and this has implementation class called frame implementation you can find that very easily just right click and do like open type hierarchy so here you can see like we have the class called frame implementation the class name is like frame impl but impl stands for like implementation okay and just general knowledge you don't have to remember all the stuff okay and then i can say like frame dot um, get by placeholder and here i can say like i have a placeholder value of enter name so i'm just going to enter this so enter name and i'm going to uh, type my test data so i can use like dot type and then i can say like name that's it fine okay so similarly i can interact with the another element so frame dot uh, find placeholder by enter email and here i'm going to give like kaushik uh, this is going to be last name actually by the label so i'm just going to uh, type this data okay now if you noticed here we have like enter email and here also we have entered email as we discussed in our playwright locator strategy whenever we use like get by placeholder or get by label if there is a duplication then we'll end up with an exception called uh, state mode violation right but in this case it's not going to happen the reason is so here you can select it type if you want to grab this you can grab and you can do the validation as well but i'm going to skip this for now okay why we are not getting the state mode violation error in the sense like this particular enter email is attached to a different another frame okay so if i go right click and inspect and if i scroll up you can see like again we have this html and then we have this iframe with the src inner frame and also we have like class okay okay now from this frame i want to interact with this particular frame okay so, but before that i like to know how many frames inner frames or child frames are there within my parent frame so the root of the page that is html which is not your frame concept but within that if you have a html that is frame and within that also we have like different frames so if i want to grab those frames i can say like frame dot um, child frames which is going to return me the list of frames again okay so here i can if i want to get the size i can say like child frame dot size which is simple and if i want to grab all the urls i can say like child frames dot for each and within the consumer let's use this like this out frame dot i want to grab the urls and semicolon now let's go and run this okay so here if i go to the console you can see like we got about blank that we cannot do the interaction and then i have got this src like lit code dot in slash inner frame okay so i know that within the frame one i have two child frames and i want to interact with this particular frame okay so how to do it very simple i can simply say like frame dot frame locator and i can give this one okay so uh sorry not the locator i mean let me come back to this again so i can say like page dot frame by url and here we have like three um methods in case i'm going to use the url i'm going to pass my actual url okay and this is going to again return me the inner frame so i can just store it like frame inner frame and from the inner frame i'm going to interact with this particular guy called enter email so already i have the code i can just copy paste and instead of frame i have to say like inner frame and here i'm going to just 
change my S data to like my email ID, dummy email of course. And if I go and run this, you can see it's going to work absolutely fine. No issue in that. Here the difference. So in Selenium, if you are within one frame, you cannot interact with another frame. You have to switch your focus back to the main frame or main frame or the child frame, and then you can do the interaction. But in terms of play, right, it's really different. So here you can select page dot frame. We found the frame and we do some interaction. Then again, we are saying like page dot frame by frame by url with this particular url and then uh, we are doing interaction okay like both are like your uh, different so it's not same like your selenium and if my focus is within the child frame if i want to interact with the parent frame or maybe like the main page i can still do that so for example if i copy this guy and paste over here let's say that i want to change this last name to something like uh, let code and as well as i will use the fill so that it will just clear and type if i go and run this now so first of all i have focus to my main page then i'm switching my focus to the first frame from there i'm um, sorry switching my focus to the child frame and then again i'm interacting with the main frame and here you can see like the red has changed okay so this is how playwright works and it's really simple and easier to do now this is one way to find the frame but to grab this url what we did is we use the console i mean like we use this child frames to do it to do to do that but we don't have to do uh, that always so if i go and find here you can see like i have the class called this i can probably use this or else we have like ss equal to inner frame i can just copy the inner frame and i can say something like frame by url let me comment this for your reference and here i can say like pattern dot compile and pattern is coming from your java dot util uh, just a regular expression concept so if this compile i mean if this is going to be your uh, match match if this match then it will do the stuff okay so if i go and execute of course it's going to work no doubt in that so we have like two ways either we can give your partial url of your frame that is using the pattern.compile or else you can go with the direct uh, sse as well okay any way is fine okay this is one way of interacting with frames there is also another way which is recommended actually so i'm just going to comment all these guys for now and i'm going to say something like page dot frame locator and here i have to give my frame locator so for example if i want to interact with this frame so i know that it has something called um what's this id equal to first f all right so i'm just going to copy the css and here i'm going to pass it so then i can say like get by uh, placeholder the placeholder value which is this one so i'm just going to copy and paste over here and if i go and run this then of course it's going to work so this is your second way of finding the elements and doing the interaction so what's the difference there we are trying to find the frame first and then we are doing the interaction in this case same concept but uh, we don't have to store it we can just use as it is or else you can also do something like this so this is going to return me the frame locator from the frame locator i can grab this and again i can say like get by place holder the uh, value and i can just give something like some test data which is also fine okay this will also work so you can find the parent frame the child frame everything is fine okay so this is one way of finding the another way of finding the frame okay now let's say that from this frame i want to find or interact with my child frame so it's going to be really easy so what can i do is i can say like frame locator that is the reference of this particular thing and from here i can again say like frame locator like from your frame you are finding another frame that should be your inner frame so in our case we know that uh, this is the inner frame so let's go and inspect and here i guess i have the css of like this one so i can just copy this i can paste it and from there i can store it as like my 
child frame something like that and i can use my child frame dot get by placeholder this thing so i'm just going to copy and store okay so yeah that's it we are pretty much good so basically like we have both the ways you can interact as you want nothing wrong about it yeah so there are two ways to interact one is like using the page.frame locator or another way is like page.frames you can use both the concepts whichever you feel comfort uh, which is absolutely fine and you have to notice one thing when we do the type action like this type function in sometimes what happens the test data does not enter fully i think that's a bug because most of the most of the time it happens uh, since i'm working in the playwright like my office project i do use the playwright uh, daily basis so i have noticed this thing i think that is an open bug in the forum but um, if i found the link probably i will leave that in the description okay uh, yeah so that's it this is how we have to do the interaction which way is recommended is of course this way because this is the new frame api from playwright and this is the old thing but yeah you can use any way that is fine okay so yeah that's the detailed tutorial on frame i hope you have liked it if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and also join our discord community to learn something okay so yeah that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye -bye. Take care. i'm looking in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way